but you know what? I love this. A lot of welcome to get with you in the cemetery community. Good. Here for the town, um, we're get, this is our last meeting, I think, for the end of the year. I'm going to let Steve take over what we normally do and work it on down. All right, um, I was absent last last meeting. I think I was away for training for my new job. Um, so I guess the remainder of the group did do well without me, so uh, glad to be back, though. Um, you. Yay. Hey. I thought about you th that Thursday. Did you bring a note? <laughs> Next time. Okay, it's in the mail. Oh, this is uh, Old business. Um, I guess uh, all the flight, the, the flight holder purchases, uh, that I had made uh, all came in and I will get them from, from Lois afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, snow and froze and stuff's a little too early, but, uh, otherwise I could have put it out, but we'll have to wait till next time. Well, like, so I, that's kind of what I said, but I'd hang on to them and let you have them because I'm really not sure who you wanted them for, so yeah. which one Yeah, I got a list and, and I'll yeah. make the, the flag holders, I'll put some kind of thing that seal them up so they don't move so much. Yeah, that, that I put plumbers tape on them the last time. Yeah. Um, like the wiggle. Is there any any more website updates? No. Nope. The okay. last minute Scott put up. All right. Um, and then uh, we did. I did have an additional uh, cemetery cleanup that uh, historical society had done three or four years ago. That uh, Tracy did add to the to the minutes of last time. So there was what like ten or fifteen. A dozen. That doesn't nice. So. Actually, I'm going to back up a little bit to the website. Ken, we, um, Tracy put together with the help of Jen and the web person our website. And I didn't know if you realized, I didn't know if you realized or not, but any questions that go go through that come to all of us. All of you. Nice. So it makes it really, really nice. They did a really terrific yeah, job. Yeah, nice. I've, I've seen it. So. so if you have questions or if you really want some, just go on in and help come to it. comes to all of us. I have a question about that cemetery near my house. I go in and let you know. You got one? Yep. I'm very, excuse me, I'm really sad. Um, I got hit by lightning, you know, probably eight, nine years ago. And it's it's an old cemetery and it's surrounded by granite. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> she talks very well. It's, uh, I think it's called the Fox Cemetery. And anyhow, it, it was surrounded by granite and one of the granite stones got blown out. And it's wow. big. I, I mean, like really big. I, I don't know how I would pick Location, it. Location, roughly? Right Fox's Ridge? Right, yeah, Fox's Ridge, right at the house. Okay. Um, the house, like, set back, like, 100 feet? Oh, no, we're right on top of the road. We're right, okay. right where the S-curves are. Christmas tree farm. There was a fire. The barn's gone now. It's, it's, okay. it's heading out towards Blueberry Hill. Yeah, before Blueberry Hill. Before you get to Blueberry Hill, it's kind of, it's at the bottom. There's a, okay. um, you know where, you, you know where it is. The cemetery is almost in the road. But anyhow, yeah. the piece of granite is now gone. So now there's this big gaping hole um, and now the stuff in the cemetery is going to start sliding out. Oh, so the way they they gone is in it's fallen. It hasn't been taken away. I think it has been taken Someone away. Someone took it away. I, I walked by, I was walking the other day and I'm like, where's that stone? I mean it had fallen down like this. I mean it's a it's like the size of I mean it's I think it, I don't think it's under the snow. Mm. Um, we don't I, it would have been sticking out we so I think somebody took it so I don't know how I'm gonna fix that. Uh, is that 690? Uh, 1242. It's the one with no veterans. It says here right there on the yeah, corner. Yeah, there aren't any veterans. There's no veterans, to my knowledge. I think there's a name for that because we actually looked it up and I can't you remember. Call it a fox. I, I don't know. I mean, there's foxes. There are foxes. But Prescott's too, I think. Prescott's oh. is up the road. Hilton's is up the road. I guess there's a couple of stones that say Prescott. Maybe yeah. somebody married yeah. somebody. Uh, so but, I'm going to... Sidetrack everything here. And just I'm sorry. No, 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 that's fine. Um, it's old. It's a really old cemetery. Um, you know, I've picked the stones up a few times. You know, set uh, okay, across from 1256 Rock Foxes Ridge. Um, he probably, probably right across from there. Yep. About 1340. I got the one on Blueberry Hill, well, in the woods. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this one's right yep, on the right on the corner. I mean, it's right on the corner as you as you come around. You know the names, which actually those are all press cards. Mm. Uh, anyway, I'm, yeah, can I so. get your number or email sure. or something? I'll just uh, yep. want to write it down. Yeah, I'll write it down. You can kind of go on it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'll check it out. She's nowhere near either one of the press cards. It's more towards, you know, where the tree farm is. 
the Stacy, I'm trying to think. Stacy Cemetery. There's a red yeah. garage. Right, yeah. that's yeah. right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's next yeah. to the red. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody has yeah. up a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. 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 we did. And then the next year you couldn't tell. Okay, so on the oh, other side. We have lilac bushes that grow up in it. Mm -hmm. So then we cut them all down. And yeah, so I know, yeah, I know okay. exactly which one you are. Um, I can give you mine. Okay. Now, do you live across the street at that White House? My daughter does. Okay. I live down in the field. She lives in the White House towards the trees. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. behind the cemetery now, kind of down in. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I know which one you're, you're yeah. talking about now. Now the light comes on. Yeah, He's gone too long. Stacy. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so yeah, there's four Prescott's there. It's really, really old. Yeah, it's really, really old. And I just... No, yeah, I, was, I, I drove by a couple years ago. I'm like, who was this angel that cleaned this up? Because yeah. Oh, matter. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Um. All right. Cool. We'll continue on. Um. Google's work permission slip. I couldn't find the one that I created for. We created uh, a couple of them. Yeah. So we, I think we should just do that again, just yeah. cover some bases. Thank you. Yeah. I, I wouldn't hurt at this point. That the vol the vol if you're gonna um, do a cemetery or volunteer slip, I've tried to make sure that they reach back out to us or we reach back to them. Some do, some don't. I know Acton Corner, we split the difference this year. There was three or four people that actually jumped in and did what they could. Okay. Um, winter activities. Um, okay, that's later down the road. I was going to say that's including the mapping stuff. So that winter yeah. activities is kind of, they're kind of going hand yeah. in hand, I think. I mean, in previous years, without this new job that I have, I you know, I'd be out in the, there was like one month. Uh, one year where it was, it was like the month of January, I didn't go out at all, but I mean, December, February, March, mm -hmm. I was out there doing stuff, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, but yeah, I, I like the idea of maybe doing a map session uh, for the next meeting. Um, and we were talking about uh, maybe having a couple of workshops yeah. this winter, mm -hmm. rather than actually having a meeting, yeah, just yeah. having a, a workshop where, you know, we need to, we need to try and get the, uh, GPS coordinates all down on the mapping, et cetera. And, uh, you know, I mean, that doesn't necessarily have to happen at a meeting. Yeah, no, I said at the next meeting, maybe sometime in January, we could. Yeah. Well, I, I, the other thing is, I don't think you, we, we can wait until the end of January because we're the, where the budget is due the 1st of February, we're going to have to skip somewhere in, in you know, one or two others. I'm sorry to say that, but okay. it's just the way the end of the budget works. I want to make sure our ducks are in a row and we're where we're supposed to be. Um, that's something we've got to discuss too. Whether you want to do it now, even either after the after this break, get a hold of me and decide. I mean, it's totally up to you guys how you want to work that. That's not a that's not a big deal. But we're going to have to have one main meeting to make sure we're, we've got our budget ready and to roll. Oh uh, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, the next time we get to that. Uh, then. No, you don't want to wait. We don't want to wait until the last week in June, January either. No. Um, so. Third week in January. Yeah. Pick a date. <laughs> Easier said than done. No, it's not. It's easy. I'm gone. On route. That's what I'm Pick saying. Easier said than done. I'm, I'm going up towards the county the, the first full week of January, so. County. Yeah. I was saying. I was hoping to get third week. Third week, so like the 18th. Week. Uh, the week of the 14th through 18th. Third week is the night. The week of the night. The week of the thirteenth through the nineteenth. Pick a day. Thursday. There you go. Sounds good. I'm protesting. Uh, <laughs> sounds good. We get a phone. Good one. Five thirty. Five thirty. I guess. January. Seventeenth. January seventeenth. And I'll explain after we get done why I'm protesting. Okay. Uh, is this no. Oh, okay. <laughs> and this is just a budget meeting. Yeah, yeah. I would put it just budget. Yeah, by then, maybe maybe Kelly, maybe Kim will have some answers for us to um, whether we're gonna be at a percentage, whether, how much we can actually go to. You know, I, I'm just at this one of those. Not sure. Right. Um, All right. Um, we should know by the time we get back. So in another two weeks. Yeah, that's kind of. And we'll know. We're just kind of going back and forth. Um, and then you will know, and then then you should have. You'll still have a couple weeks to know exactly what you're doing. Okay. 
Because I know that was one of the subjects that we discussed at a selectors meeting yep. where the budget was going to lie. So. Um, is Jay, how's he doing on collecting aluminum cans or any kind of aluminum? Like I have some, oh, I hate those, the, like the generic flag holders that like mostly at like Maple Grove. Yes. Um, as uh -huh. some of them get replaced or whatever. Like mm -hmm. I got a bunch at home. And I have, I absolutely hate those things. I have a uh, half of a body bag for aluminum cans. And I had forgotten that we were meeting tonight because uh, Jay not being here, it doesn't really do any, you know, it doesn't do any harm. But uh, I was looking to uh, uh, wait until I had, you know, a full body bag for the, when I say body bag, the bag is about that tall. What are you doing with them? Collecting. Uh, just these collecting. are these are all. Well, no, these are all aluminum cans. You know that we purchase uh, at my house. You know, and usually I usually I take them down to the redemption center because they're worth a nickel piece. I think piece. you meant what are we doing? What, what are we doing, doing with them? No. No. I'm, getting, I'm getting there. <laughs> Zip it. Zip it. <laughs> um, what we're going to try and do. Uh, Jay has, has volunteered to make an attempt, and I'm not sure how successful he's going to be, but on the various flags that, you know, veterans okay. flags that are throughout the town, yep. you have some people that were World War I, some people that were World War II, right. some are Vietnam, etc. And, you know, those, those, uh, um, what they call those? Flag holders. Flag holders. So he's going to try to make them out of the cans? Yeah. 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 He's, going to, he's going to try to, to uh, cast uh, aluminum cast, uh, aluminum casting of, uh, you know, each type. Because when you start talking about buying them, they're what? Uh, 20, 30 bucks each. Depends yeah. upon yeah. what yeah. uh, you know, and, you, know uh, you know, aluminum doesn't rust. Aluminum doesn't uh, rot. Per se, per se. Um, yes. But you know, so this might be a viable option for us. So I told Jay that I would, you know, gather up all my cans, yep. and rather than you know go down and redeem them for a nickel a piece, I'll donate them to the cause. Like I said, I have about a half a bag, half of a body bag. The reason I say it's a body bag is because I could damn near put you in a bag and cover your head. Get rid of me, huh? Uh, I wouldn't do that to you, Kim. So anyway, that's where the aluminum cans. Sit. All right. Mm -hmm. By our next meeting, I may have uh, enough to where I, because I'm not sure how many cans he's going to use, you know, for casting. You know what I'm saying? And you know, when you start talking about, you know, how much metal is there in today's soda can? There ain't much. You know, I mean, you know, once you once you crush it down and stick it in a, a forge, you're going to find out. It's not very really much at all. Worth or something. <laughs> so, anyway. And then, before, I was going to say, after we had, okay, I got an ask my chunk, like, uh, Jen was kind enough to get me a couple of them. Like I said, we're going to have one for us and one for the assessor and Kenny because um, they would like to have that information. It's prudent to them to, to make sure when they sales and all that stuff and taxes are done appropriately and all that stuff. Um, also in this packet, I hope for you everybody get a copy, is what Steve has actually put together as far as the budget for 2019-20. Um, uh, that's just a basic budget. I, what about the other, the other question, I guess, is you, know, you use the law more, more than I do, obviously. What about the, um, does it need to be sharpened or do we need a new blade or anything like that? Yeah, I was, I was hoping to get that, because um, it's two years old now, yeah. just to get it um, tuned up and okay. you know, I've, I've changed the, the oil and stuff, but you know, th that's about as far as I can go with that kind of thing, so. All right, so tuning it up would be, would be good to bring it to somebody yeah, who knows some, more about it. There's a small engine shop out on um, Branch Road, Milton Mills, just to, if that will help. Just as a point of interest, or maybe not interest, um, as far as um, gas power equipment goes, lawnmowers, uh, chainsaws, weed rackers, <coughs> And I found this out the hard way. Um, if you leave gasoline in a lawnmower or a wheatbacker or a, a chainsaw, if it is not um, a particular type of gasoline, if it's just regular gasoline, 
that will end up causing lots of problems where you have to take your uh, item to get somebody to do some maintenance on it. They make a, they make a synthetic fuel that uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Walsh, our beloved selectman, told me about. Uh, they sell it at uh, uh, Lowe's. I'm sure Home Depot does as well. It's a synthetic fuel, and guess what? You can fill your gas tank up, like you can fill your chainsaw up with, with this fuel, put it away, and never touch it for six, eight months. You can pull the chainsaw out, prime it, the damn thing starts right up. It does not create any uh, varnish or whatever on your, uh, your power equipment, as far as, you know, the internals of your power equipment. So that makes it very, very nice because, you know, there's a lot of times when you go to start something up and it don't want to start. Yeah, if so, you get that, uh, what, what that is and stuff. Uh, I've got a can sitting at home. It depends upon what your, it depends upon what mixture level your... Yeah, uh, what you're running. Whether it's a root you know, If it's, it's a 40 to 1. Yeah, yeah, we sell that at Et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you know, uh, and they even make one that is... Uh, it doesn't have a rating. <laughs> it's like running jet fuel. So, anyway. Um, well, what I was going to say, as far as seeps, is if we want you guys want to add to that or take away from it or think about it, you know, it would be really nice to know for the next meeting we have as a budget yeah. meeting. Jay thought we were going to be talking about it a little bit more, and he gave me a rough list of the items that he thought we would probably need for this coming year, including the sand for yes, most definitely. the laundry that for the, set up yes. for the mm. flag holders. It's not cheap sand. No. no. It's not play sand that you no. know for pennies on the dollar. <laughs> um, I think if we want to look over that right now, just the uh, like flags, we still got a bunch of flags from last year, so I don't I don't foresee us spending 300 bucks. Well, we'll be close. It all depends upon what the weather does over the winter. Um, I think we spent more this year on flag holders, just because I wanted us to start yes. getting more. So that's well, we wanted to make sure, instead of just being a generic holder for every veteran, that they were honored for the service they did in their late wars. And it makes more sense to do it that way. I think it's more more of an honor to know what they've done versus just say they're a veteran. Um, Reed Racker, I'm still using the one that I have. I, we, never, <coughs> we didn't buy a new one at all. Uh, uh, same thing with the lawnmower down at the bottom. We didn't buy any. Um, but that's not to say we don't want to buy a new one. Well, that's it. But um, who are we going to have do it? So last... Two years ago, I was I spent half my half the summer after work in, in the cemeteries. This past summer, there was you know one tenth of that until I got laid off and I spent the whole month of October in the cemeteries, which was great. <coughs> um, with this new job, I don't think I'm doing very much next year, so we need to find more volunteers to, to at least just try to maintain. Well, some of us will just have to step up our game. Do you use um, kids? At all. The problem is, is the kids have to be a certain, even, the kids have to be a certain age. That to, what's to, what is the, the age? In yeah. order to, they have to be over 18 to operate like a lawnmower now. Hmm. Because of, because of the standards in OSHA and all that stuff. Last I knew. What about I know, I know I've had volunteers. What about kids like from Maplestone? I mean, because they I know, I thought about that. They use, and, and, you know, you need well, Maplestone is, is, is a little different. Um, mm -hmm. and like, if you're at Sanford, you need your community service hours. Right. Um, Maplestone's a little different. They may carry their own insurance. Uh, the kids like to go out. I mean, they, they keep them busy. Maybe to reach out to Keith at that point. Yeah, yeah that Is Keith still running yep. it? Yep. Yeah, because I, I thought about them. Because yeah. actually, one point back several years ago, Keith actually volunteered to do some of the... Um, Cemetery names, but we weren't quite sure how to do them. We weren't quite Keith sure. Davis over at Maplestone. He, he, I mean, if you're looking for volunteers, you could give them a call. I mean, because I know a lot of them that have approached me 
Uh, I've actually stuck them in Maple Grove only because I want to do trimming. Yeah. And yeah. and I know that they can handle trimmers. I don't know beyond mowing and all that what they can what they can do. Well, you yeah. probably could find out. And yeah. I know somebody else was supposed to reach out to me, and they didn't say when, whether it be this year or in the spring. Another group. And I told them to let, you know, that'd be great, you know, we could do something, we could find a cemetery someplace, trust me. That's yeah, always um, the new school, which is in Kennebunk, which there are students here in Acton that go there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's mm -hmm. community service projects, they do a lot. Um, okay. They uh, do Habitat for Humanity, they, um, they do a lot more community service jobs mm -hmm. than just going to Sanford and doing your 20 hours. I mean, mm -hmm. every week they do it. So, I mean, it's it's just another avenue, and you could always let them know that I s sent you that way. Um, it's all mine. <laughs> yeah, because right there. at this point, anybody anybody who wants to help, we're really willing to take the help. It's just a matter of where to put them. Right. And obviously, the town themselves. We right, at this present moment, we have six cemeteries that we definitely, as a group, they need to make make sure they maintain. Right. For the possibility of one more coming, which we won't know until I guess down the road a little bit more. But it, it, it's just, it's not easy because even as volunteers like myself, I'm not here a lot in the I summer. Steve's, Steve's out straight. And I know Tracy and Jay have other things in the summer they have to tend not to. Everybody, I know. So and it's a unfortunate time. because I have school usually. That's I, it. You know. um. I mean, we do have some that cut, step up to the plate. Like I said, I had three or four this year that stepped up to do acting corner. I took them when they I took them when they gave it to me. It wasn't always necessarily a holiday. It wasn't necessarily done perfect, but you know, we do have quite a few homeschool um, families in town. Keep pushing that at your meetings um, to, because mm -hmm. you know I, I know it's not easy. Not everybody yeah. wants to be a part. And I can't can't blame them for that. Um, Next item. <laughs> uh, what and forget? Um, I still have a bunch at home. Um, maybe we could buy another gallon. That, that's 20, 25 bucks. Um, cemetery signs, it's still on the agenda. Um, we're working through with the uh, Historical Society. Maybe we can get some, have them uh, get some made uh, for the ones that they've cleaned up. Um, yeah, we decided to get. We decided to go with the ones that are clean. That way, as we go along, the signs are up, so we know that they've actually physically been done. What are we up to? I know it was beyond what I thought. We well, roughly we got. Oh, um, you said about a dozen. Yeah, we got. A, yeah, so we're up a little bit more. Some of them have gone back to nature a little bit. Um, yeah. Like the one across from Maple, Maple Stone. Um, oh. But yeah, I mean that's it's just that's the hard ongoing thing. Up once they're clean. Like, yeah, like, you know, I know. Like, it's just nature is. And the other ones you want to add to that list, because I know they take care of them, might be on Langley's. Because I know that they maintain all of those up there. Yeah. I just thought of that. Um, grass, ground cover. How are you making out, Tracy? Yeah. Are you? I haven't. I haven't dealt with that since Is I can find the grass in yeah. the yard. Um, <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe next this coming year, maybe we'll just you know pick one cemetery, do the ground cover thing, see how that works, and then. Our idea is ground cover is so we wouldn't have to mow it as much. Mm -hmm. And we're uh, hoping that the ground cover would yeah, take care so of it, yeah, and make it look nice. Tracy yeah. tried to order a couple of different places you know, last year, their route, and that yeah. failed. Mm -hmm. um, but I had also spoken with uh, Farmfield Greenhouse in Lebanon. Yeah and he was willing to work with us as far as if we had a specific cemetery, nice. he said just get the square footage, um, then we can do the math to get the plants, and he would grow some for us so we would have real greenery okay. to put in there rather than bare roots, because that just didn't work at all. Didn't work, yeah. Great. Now, would that, does that really matter if it's more sun, more shade, or ground cover just period will come in either way. Yeah, it's well, you want something that's going to take over, if you will. Well, yeah, that's you, kind of you want something, something that's, that do. Uh, yeah, you want something that's going to cover and look nice, but not necessarily kill everything. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things out there that, you know, are very... Um, Invasive. Yes. 
Sweeping myrtle will creep everywhere. Yes, so it will. If it's in a, an enclosed <laughs> with um, granite stone or some sort of rock barrier, it will stay contained. If it's just mm -hmm. a fence around the cemetery, obviously it's going to crawl right. out. Skip to um, so it so choke out new lilac bushes. It, it chokes uh, everything. Well, I'm just, you know, I mean, I've dug up more. Of the, I mean, I've dug a lot of those up and then the stuff come back. Yeah. And they're coming from across the street at the old farmhouse. They just blow. I know yeah, they're blowing yeah. the seeds. <laughs> um, I like so yeah, nice. There's some that are very invasive, some that prefer shade, some mm. do well in, in full sun. Mm. So it's just we have to assess which which cemetery needs ground cover and what the what the elements are there. If it's in shade, or if it's full sun, or if it's half and half. Maybe our first project can be that man across uh, at, her, at her house. That's food for thought. Yeah, because it's, it's right there. And it's yeah. right, I mean, here you are. This is, this is the granite, and here's the road. Okay. I mean, it's... Is it there right now? Is it grass, or what's in, what's the soil? It, it's all, all these bushes, all these lilac trees. <laughs> and then we chainsaw them down, mm -hmm. um, clean it up. Um, yes, a little bit of grass, would, but it, it's all shaded out. Yeah. yeah, and of course on each corner they planted maple trees, which were beautiful, but they're getting old. I mean, mm. hundreds of years old and they're starting to break. We just had one bust, um, so um, yep. we've got to clean it up in the spring. You know. Yeah, the myrtle will work fine. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, because it just didn't want to so. come back up through the myrtle, the myrtle was still because it likes to be that. Yeah, it's more dirt right now, and, and you've got these lilac bushes coming up. And I thought about something like that, but I was worried the myrtle would get into, because there's another cemetery, um, it's a new one, um, down over the edge. And I didn't want the myrtle to creep into that, because I mow that, and mm -hmm. that's that's a family cemetery. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, brother and sister or something like that? Stacey's. Has been in... Uh, oh, that's it's your family. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's her husband, husband and a friend, and a sister-in-law, and a friend, friend, and a cousin. There's four of them up there now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know. It's a nice spot. You can watch the sunrise every morning. <laughs> but that's kind of, this is kind of a rough estimate, and then Jay, Jay had some, what did, now, what did Jay actually hit on, Trace? I mean, we can go back over this next month yeah. just to make sure everything's certain. Yeah, just the list that he gave here, um, Rakes. Um, there, he put 20 pieces of rod for the holders, and it's he says three eighths rebar. Mm -hmm. um, and he said he would electroplate it with brass finish, and those would be six dollars each. That way, it wouldn't rot rot out mm -hmm. being stuck in the ground like that. Um, my my only thing is, and I forgot to, and I'll have to ask Jay when I see him. Is that what I know? Is all efforts are great and grand, and I know he's trying to do recycling. But is that going to make up for the cost for what we actually spend out? You know what I'm saying? Is one going to outweigh the other? Yes, I don't know. We we know. Have to yeah, as I said, that. we'll have to talk to Jay about that because I hate to see him work so hard at something to find out it's three times yeah. the cost. Yeah, um, one axe, a couple malls, chainsaw, and the sand. He found a company online that has 35 pound bags of foundry sand, and those are 69.50 each. Mm. Yeah. Okay, great. I, I, they're not very large. No, uh, uh, foundry, st foundry sand is is extremely dense right. and heavy. It goes oh, yeah. We had a foundry in our garage many and years ago. Yeah. Mm. So you know, I mean, I would say he probably. He's probably going to need one or two bags, at least one bag, probably two bags, mm -hmm. just to get the first casting done. Because you know, once you, you know, once you make a mold, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, then you know, oh, this is going to work. No, this look, looks lovely, and it's going to work. Save it. Mm -hmm. so. Exactly. So anyway. So that's what he had for brainstorming today. Uh, there, there's a little S curve kind of thing going on. Um, so I'm not sure if that's, this is 2018. Uh, one's down there. Right there. I think there's stairs. Yeah, there's little stairs that go up. 
Yeah. Well, you can buy it a million times. Yeah. Well, you guys yeah. are yeah. really yeah. 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 looking yeah. at pictures. I want to thank each and every one of you for a good year and a good job done. I wish Jay had been here so I could thank him also personally because it's not easy. It's tough. It's not. It does not go as easy as people think. It's good exercise, though. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely gets you out in the fresh air. Yeah. Yeah. So, but that's a thank you. That's heavy. Enjoy it. <laughs> it. It comes. It. it comes from the heart. Maybe, maybe be put in my heart. I don't know. Holly in the heart. Maybe I don't know. But I, you know, I really do because it's not easy. It's a tough job. I had done it with my cousin and my aunt for many, many years here in town. Um, even as a child, it was not easy to go out in the middle of the woods and hope and pray and not hurt yourself and get things accomplished. I, I miss them because that they knew where everything was a lot better than me. They knew how to handle a lot more than I do. We're trying the best we can to stick within what we have to do as well as the statues for the state to make them happy. Um, I really appreciate it. We couldn't ask for a better group. I'd love to have more. Anybody out there that's interested, please, please, please contact us. Um, we're willing to help you know, we're willing to work with you, but it's not, we don't have to spend but 10 minutes to an hour or however you want to do it. It's better than going without, I guess. Come on out and find some gopher holes. Yeah, you <laughs> found a few. Um, I, I don't know if friend. I earned this one this year, though, because I didn't get poison ivy once. <laughs> We're going to work on that for next year. Yeah. Um, Steve has this thing about poison ivy ticks and a few other miscellaneous stuff. I don't blame him. And he's made up this concoction that smells like salad dressing. Yeah. 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 And I have, salad. <laughs> in between the two of us, and I have a but few snakes, so yeah. it does not work out sometimes. And the ticks and the bugs. Yeah, I don't like the bugs. I just don't like the snakes. So when you see a snake, I'm going, here, I see a bug. I can handle well, it. Some some of the, as long as I see it first. Some mm -hmm. of the cemeteries yeah. that, that we go to, uh, are unbelievable as far as where the locations mm -hmm. are. You know, I mean, we have a lot of cemeteries within the town that, you know, the access, oh, boom, cemetery, cemetery. Right. You know, and, you drive, and you drive down the road and you go, hey, there's supposed to be a cemetery out here. Where the hell is it? And you start walking and you start walking. And the next thing you know, you meet a pistol packing oh, neighbor. Pistol packing so, you know, I mean, I mean, he was awesome, but you know, I mean, oh, yeah. there's a lot of, of a lot of locations that you go to that you go, how the hell did somebody get buried here? Yeah, you know, because there's no yeah. access. You know, now there's no access. There may have been back then, but you know. And actually, Steve found the one veteran I told him I would have problems finding. He found last fall with the help of uh, Wes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. he's, oh, yes. Steve's like a dog chasing a bone. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, matter of fact, him and I have been out late nights getting in the middle of someplace in Rome. He's been out there by the road with his lights on. Going, okay. Hey. He's got away every time. <laughs> and I'm the type, I, I see it and I go for it. And we're looking around like, okay, who's going to come out after? Is like, no, who's coming out after us? There's nobody, right? I don't want to search me and see anybody. So, and I, and I try to tell everybody in the spring, please, it's just us. <laughs> and we still have one, there's still one cemetery that, that I know of that we haven't visited. Yeah. We're going to get there. Yeah. One of these days, I'm going to catch that damn wire when it's down and be able to drive up there. Yep. Um, I know uh, person. the person that owns the property, but, you know, I mean, catching them when they're there, you know, I don't think that there's a veteran that's buried there, and I think it's just a, probably a small family plot. But, it's but nice still, to know. you know, we, 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 you know, we're trying to locate all of the different burial spots within the town. Well, I'm sure we're going to miss probably a half a dozen. No, we'll probably miss a half a dozen. Well, my you never know what you're going to find when you're walking out in the woods. My biggest fear is losing a cemetery to somebody who doesn't understand what field stones are or cemetery. And then sales and, and people, you know, leaving the area that aren't familiar with where things are. Um, I'm, I'm more of afraid. We've lost a couple to that, unfortunately. And, and I'm, I'm more concerned about the future because obviously I can't live forever. And, and I don't know where this is going to go down the road, but if, if at least if they're out there marked, 
hopefully, you know, I mean, Kenny's good, but he may want to move down the road someday too. Who knows? And hopefully, it will be in position where everybody knows where they're at, and and that way, if the sale does come up of your home or you're moving, or because nobody realizes it's there, and, and it's important because I, I I feel bad for somebody who didn't know they're there or don't know their field stones are a cemetery, and they go and accidentally dig in it because it's not pretty either or they go ahead and remove everything and realize they've done wrong and there's nothing we can do but try to help it by out there and destroy it because they think that it's just exactly box. And that's more why this all be them. Anything else, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, one new thing, um, the latest uh, MOCA, Main Old Cemetery Association newsletter came out and Angela, a friend of mine from Waterboro, she was the vice president, she is now the president. Really? So she, um, everybody else that is like an officer for this organization is way the heck far away. So they always do these these workshops and these project things. In Knox County. Yeah, yeah. nowhere near us. Knox so <laughs> Maybe it'll start having some down this way. We're, we're hoping. Nice. So, and they, they do cleaning, they tell how to fix the stones and do all, all this other stuff. The girl that did the thing at Massachusetts. Yes, yes. So, um, Actually, Steve, I meant to give these two. These come out of Michelle's office. This is what we've got right now. Because I know you're, you're the key guy as far as um, making sure our budget and stuff right, is where it's supposed to be. Okay. And I don't want to lose them on you. I did misplace them and told Michelle I had lost them, but I did find them. But we're all set. I think so. Any other questions? Any other things going on? I need a motion. Motion to adjourn. I need a second. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you for letting me come. Hey, no